Hello champions, Rob here, Uprise Engineering. This is my personal TP96 Pro Trade series uh, that I've fitted out for myself. Um, now, I've done this for myself, it suits me. It might not suit everybody, but it does suit me. I've got some more stuff going in it, um, but right now I'm gonna take you for a bit of a walk around, show you just what I've got in it, how much more room there is. Um, she's an absolute animal. We put her over the way bridge the other day. She only come in at 2180 kilos um, and with 160 on the ball. So she can still take a ton of gear inside on top legally. She absolute beast of a trailer. So come take a look, I'll walk you through it. All right, so we'll start off on the front. I've set mine up a little bit different here. Um, so I've got my, my step ladder, I've got a rake, I've got shovels, I've got hoses, everything here. So I haven't done anything to this trailer, which I wouldn't do to a standard TP96. This is a standard build that I've then fitted out for myself, pretending that I'm accustomed to fitting this out and how well it all goes. And it, and it works really well, I wouldn't change a thing. So these are sort of mounts out of ARB, some brackets out of Bunnings, it works really well. Great system. Ties it all in, keeps it out of the trailer. Um, we got arc jockey wheels, Mick Hitch tow couplings. I got the spare wheel here because I don't need to run a compressor. I don't need a compressor. Uh, we still got a lot of storage on top. So let me uh, let me take you for a bit of a look. So inside, I have things like my spares box. I got stubby holders, cups, knives, forks, serviettes, the whole lot. I got 12 volt kettle in here. Um, you know, sometimes you do need a bit of caffeine kick. Travel Buddy pie oven for me lunches. Uh, I run the 60 litre ARB. I prefer this fridge over the Ingle myself. Uh, it's got a lot of features that they don't, but Ingle is a very good fridge. I prefer the ARB, so that's what went in my trailer. We still got beers to go in there. That, that's most important, don't you worry. Um, Side drawer, well I haven't had to utilize this very much at the moment, I don't have a lot in here. Solar port, 240 inlet, outlet. I got side spotlights, both sides. This is an absolute best value for money box you can buy. This is track armor. Now track armor, box, holds, straight edges, everything. So. You can open it from the top, and I've got spirit levels, straight edges, everything in there at the moment. I can still put brooms, bits and pieces in there. That there, quality bit of gear. Check out Track Armor, because those boys are doing a great job. Um, love that little unit. Inside, where we get serious. We've got a drop saw slide. Now, I've done a little bit of a tweak to my drop saw slide in regards of I put anti-vibration rubbers underneath with a lock uh, nut on top. So now I can actually swing around and I can use my drop saw from inside the trailer with my vacuum if I need to. Um, otherwise, it just goes away. We swing her back around, lock her back in. There she is. 200 watt solar panel, first aid kit. I've got my welding leads, my earth leads, everything hanging up on the back wall. I still do have a few more things, as I was saying, to go in this trailer. So I've got a, a small gas bottle mount for a welder. I've got a three and a half KVA little generator, which actually fits behind the drop saw slide quite nicely. So that's still yet to go in. Um, I'll show you inside this hatch. This is where my batteries are in a TP96. I've actually got a 190 amp caddy welder in there. Breakers, DCs, the whole lot, it's all, it's all there. So again, battery compartment, but still great use of space for things that aren't gonna really bounce around. Front management wall, this is the business end. So the way I've set this up is obviously a standard Envy build through projector. Um, which we do a lot of projector envy builds. So I've got GPS tracking and alarm system, 1000 watt inverter for all my batteries. I've got a 25 amp AC charger to charge while off 240. Got a full 240 install. We've got remote monitors, 
I've got a BM320 management system which tells me what I'm using, what's going in, what's going out. Um, we've got all our internal LED lights throughout. Now the way I do this here is I've plugged a little circuit board in here, plugged all my pass load, my DeWalt chargers all to the, um, the circuit board. I've plugged it into 240 so when I plug into 240 everything charges. Now if I want to charge all this while I'm driving to work, all I have to do is unplug from the 240 point, plug it into my inverter, turn my inverter on and drive to work. My inverter will charge all of this at the same time. Um, I get to the job site and I'm fully charged. So that's my, my setup that I've done for myself. It works really well. Uh, as you can see, like I've still got a, a whole heap of room uh, that I just can't seem to fill. And, and we've got a fair bit of gear in this trailer. So yeah, come for a walk, I'll show you the rear and we'll go through that. I got a ladder up here, so the way we did it, truck armor boxes, I, I mounted it higher than the rail. I put eye bolts all the way down the beams. Um, so when I carry long lengths of uh, timber sheets, so I can carry 1,500 tim, uh, timber sheets still up there. I don't actually have to strap over the truck armor box. I can go from an eye bolt back across to this side of the trailer. Uh, I got rubber straps that hold my ladder on. Inside here you've still got your platforms, so I've still got a tub up here that's just got a heap of painting gear in it. Uh, my old circular saw, I've got sanding pads, I've got some grinding discs, everything up there. I've got a lot of plumbing fittings with inside this box, radio, I've got all my fixing boxes, so I can still fit another couple of fixing boxes here, but I don't do a hell of a lot of fixing, I'm, I'm not a tradie by trade. You know, I'm an engineer and we, we build trailers, but this is my personal trailer for home. I just want something that I got it all if I need it. So we got all our fixings here. Inside this drawer, I've obviously got my chainsaw, but I like using tubs for storage because the Pro Trade series is about being organized. And organized is, is saves you time, money, um, it's neat to work out of so inside this box, you know, like I'll have all my trousers and everything that I need uh, Some of you will ask what I've got egg beaters for well When you actually mixing tiling grout and stuff, this is really really handy. So Try that. I bet you'll uh, you'll love that Inside here, you know, I've got knee pads. I've got all my tapes and sealants and grouts I've got building brackets um, I've got all my pads load gases, nails, everything like that throughout there. Um, look, I've still got more room through here that I can utilise more space. It's, and these sort of things might evolve over time, but right now it suits me. Now, in this big boy, i got all my tools. So, i got everything from... Palm sanders, jigsaws, I got bloody grinders, planers, everything right through that bag. Again, in this bag, you know, I got everything from air blowers, I got staple guns, compact drills, rattle guns, you name it, it's all stacked in there. I got circular saws, I got routers and plungers, I got concrete drills, I got laser levels, more drills, pads load gear, and as you can see, like I've got a, a lot of tools in there and I've still got a lot of room. Um, they're just massive drawers, they can take a lot of stuff. Again, it's been organised. Um, that's what we do, it's what we love. But I'm wrapped with this trailer and, and, the, and the amount of gear, like I can't wipe a smile off my face. It's, uh, it's awesome to have such good gear. This side we just get more storage as well. So up here I've got uh, collapsible trestles, I've got my DeWalt saw bench, some bits and pieces, I've still got a tile cutter coming which will come up here as well, just loads of space, it's just still loads of space. Down here I've got my thicknesser um, and a bucket just full of you know car wash stuff and bits and pieces here but still so much room. Uh, drawer systems, 
they hold just all your loose items of tools, all my cutting tools, tap and die sets, chisels, you name it, it just keeps going. Um, my parts for my DeWalt drop saw bench, I've got hole saws, tape measures, string lines. Um, it just, it's awesome. Clamps. What else we got? Sockets, spanners, um, and still plenty of room to go in there. This side drawer here I've just used for uh, bits of silicon, silicon guns, degreasers, uh, little knickknacks and bits and pieces. Over here on the other side of the fridge slide, um, I've obviously got my little Kasha pressure washer, I've got my big DeWalt vacuum, um, extension leads and rags, dust pans, bits and pieces, still so much room in there, like it can take, as I was saying, it can take another ton of equipment. So you still might put another 500 kilos of tooling, tooling in there that I'm not putting in there, but then you might put another 500 kilos of timber on the top. So legally you can still do that. She, she's an absolute animal of a trailer. Um, the Pro Trade Series 96, uh, it's just next level, absolute next level. So there you go, this is my trailer. This is a TP96 with my own gear in it. Um, I hope you like it and that's what it is now. A big thank you to all my suppliers who's helped me do all this, uh, but a massive shout out to the guys at Sydney Tools who made a lot of that possible. Um, they jumped on board, they helped me out, and they give me a lot of advice when it comes to what tools I need and, and how everything's going to go, and they've done me a great deal. So if you're ever after a good deal and some good tools, head to Sydney Tools, chat to the guys there, they're a professional team, um, and I, I dare say they will do you a great deal on whatever you want. So. Until next time guys, I'll see you later, take care.